Oh yeah. Hit the rock. Oh, yeah. Hit the rock. Come on. Hit, hit the more the speed. Snow. Hit the rock. Hit the rock. <laughs> hit the snow. Hit the snow. Rocky snow. <laughs> I'm Julie. And this is Stitching at the Cabin. Today Ow. is Tuesday, the 14th of <laughs> January 2020. I know, I almost said December. That's wrong. But it's not October. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're supposed to be looking right now. I don't think Shh. our boss watches as well. One does, one but not does, the important one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> We have the phone up here, so if all of a yeah. sudden this is cut and it's weird and the phone's ringing, it's because we're going to have to go back downstairs. But We had to do it early yeah. today because the Democratic debates are tonight, and I don't miss those. I have to be home by 6. So. In all fairness, she doesn't miss any of the debates. I mean, we don't no. either, but I recorded them. I don't I, I refuse watch to watch them recorded. They have to be live, so we'll, we'll watch I have to go home. Republican, Democrat. Oh, yeah. All of the debates. Chicken debates. I, like, it's whatever. just a weird hobby. Well... It's I mean, it's also being informed. Yeah, yeah it's but good to like, be aware of politics. But it's just, but just to be clear, that doesn't make her a Democrat or a Republican or a Republican or an Independent. Mystery. <laughs> I just love watching debates. <laughs> okay, so she says I have to talk about. Well, it's a stitching channel, which you may have yes, mentioned. Yes, cross stitch. I didn't, but yeah, cross stitch <laughs> channel. She says I have to tell you what we're going to talk about in the beginning. Yep. So we're going to talk about finishes. Yep. I have two. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the whips. I'll show you those. I have two. You do. I wrote that down. I have. Wow. Yeah, unless I was supposed to have four, but I think I might have one. I don't need your braggery. I, don't think I wrote them all down. Maybe I did. Whatever. Whatever. Um, <laughs> new starts, which neither one happened. <laughs> and then other. There's mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five. Five others. One is the Christine tag. Um, one is actually stitching related. Actually, two are stitching related. Three wow. are stitching related. Two are definitely not stitching related. We have the f f f whatever. Did you put my uh, my story in there I put, too? I put no, but the other story. What story? The story in Big Bear that I was going to tell you that I didn't tell you yet. I thought that was the Jeep thing. No, different story. Oh. Story you don't know. No, I didn't. Know you saw that the videos that. from the Jeep thing. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. I, I have two I stories from the cabin, a different cabin, well, but we, still a cabin. We better rush then. Yeah, we got a lot to do debate. before five. Okay, I have I two finishes. Five. Yes, show those finishes. I have a... One's like a finish finish. Like a finish. I this have an FO mm -hmm. finish. There's Deep Lagoon. And you know what? You were talking about framing it and stuff. Yeah. I was looking at it while you were changing or doing whatever you were doing. Mm -hmm. And I think, I almost think you should just do a back blacking. So this is just like a... Blacking? <laughs> I think that's racist. I'm interested to see what that would look like. Having it black back here and then just doing a frame around it. Well... I need this frame for other things. So yeah, yeah, it's not, not staying this. on that. No, 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 no. And I don't think that color. Fit. So know. I was trying to cover it. Oh, you're just gonna cover the, it. The thing is, it. my husband shocked me because I was trying to show this to him one night, but he woke late and he was tired, and, and he's like, "It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen." But he was like, clearly, he didn't mean it. He was just trying to get me to go away, which worked. But then the other day, he he said, "You know that that one you finished? I don't think he knew the name of it. He may have." He said, I want that in my office. I want you to frame it and put it in my office. And I was like, your office office or your home office? He said, the home office. Okay. So we've been discussing framing it. It's six by six. And I just wanted to put it in a frame. Just the frame came right up to the edge. He said, no, you need to mat it. But a mat, I mean, I'm thinking just a black mat. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out. But anyway, people help. it's done. There it is. Deep Lagoon. There's I'm some glad mistakes. you finished it. I told you it would be easy. Yeah. Just finish it. There's some mistakes, but we don't need to discuss that. Look at the knot. <laughs> That's not... No! <laughs> She's not nice. And then this is an FFO. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't call people. Whoa. Oh, oh it's a glue. Let's see. There you go. It's better, I think. Yeah. I think so. It's it framed. my wedding thing. It's, it's done. Oh, it's framed. Ooh. I'm trying to keep the glue of the cam. You can't see. Just trust me. It's done. <laughs> I, <laughs> just trust us. I went to um, Hobby Lobby, and I um, it, let me put this back down because I keep catching the glue. Um, they. <laughs> uh, I went to Hobby Lobby 
just to pick out a frame. But because of the size of the finished stitching, it, it was like you couldn't get like an 8x10 or an 11 by like it wasn't a set. It, so it's going to take a lot of mat. So we picked, I think that's an old, I don't know what size no, that is. That's big. I don't know what that is. It looks like a 16 by 20. 20. I mm -hmm. think that's what it is. It's, I think that's a 16 by 20. And then I was trying to look at the mats that they have in stock and pick something. And then, so I was telling a woman, I'm like, I don't really know what to do because none of these mats really go. And I'm so bad at this. And she's like, you know, you can custom load the mats. I was like, yeah, but it's expensive. She's like, no, it's the same price. I was like, oh. What? So she picked it out and she did the whole camera thing and all that so I could see. They couldn't do it with the frame because I had bought that frame, you know, like off the shelf so they couldn't couldn't do it. But I was like, okay, let's do that. And then she's like, oh, you know what? The frames are a little expensive. So it was like $42.50, I think, to have that framed. Yeah. So they ordered them. They called me. So I had to lace it in the meantime. I've never laced anything before. I laced that. Do you have pictures of how you laced it or no? I don't think I took lacing pictures. Um, it was scary. I did it. Um, I used the Lindy Stitches tutorial on Floss Tube. I won't make you link it below because that's just me. Now that I've watched you edit, I'm trying to be nicer. It's okay. It's uh, fine. I edited once in the office and she just, just like... That's too much work. <laughs> um, the, as you can see, the hoop mark on looks like a dirty hoop from when I was way younger doing it. Ouch. Don't worry, I, I got this. And I'll help. It's like over here. There's, oh no, I touched it. There's there's like a frame mug, and it's not perfectly straight because I didn't have an iron and I was holding it over a s pot on the stove trying to like heat it and straight. So, it, I mean, it's not perfect, but considering that costs 40 something dollars plus the frame. And you've had this project for eons. Yeah, I mean. It's nice that it's finally done. Over 20 years because we've been married longer than that. We've been married 21 years. 20. It'll be 22 in a few months, so I think. I'm <laughs> looking at the date, trying to do mental math, I think. <laughs> so, Maybe. anyway, done stamp. Yes. So now I need to start something new, and we yeah. spun the thing, and it was going to be the checkerboard. Yeah. One, two, three stitch is out of Weeping Willow. And I was just going to do the DMC, but it's variegated, so I was like, ah. Oh, so, you didn't tell me whether it was or not. You said you said Yeah, you're I'm pretty sure that it's variegated, and, and they didn't have it, so I was like, well, okay then, I can't start that. So I've just been working on the trunk of the temperature tree at night. Although There's a lot really more trunk than time. you think there is. I really <laughs> thought I could bang that out in a day. Mm -hmm. There's, There's a lot. lot. There's a lot of trunk. But I did, yeah. I was going to save this for other, but I'll do it now. I did get the hyacinth fabric. Yeah. And so I may start that. Um, this is not a shock to Alyssa because we had a long discussion and measuring tanks and, and stuff. Options, options. This is from Fabric Fleur, but I got it through um, Stitchery Express. It is African Sunset. Yes, it is. So I can plop that, that hyacinth right camera on. totally just changed colors yeah, while you were I doing that. that. <laughs> It's kind of an orangey, yellowy, and then a grayish green at the bottom. So I'm going to yeah. do it a little bit lower because it's just the hyacinth head. There's no background. I'm going to put the body down kind of on the lower side so it covers some of this greenish color and then have the head up here. And so this is 28 count. And I was going to do 28 one over one. Yes. Yes. 28 one over one. Yep. But it would make it tiny, tiny. Like eight inches tall. Like hold less than eight inches tall. Like tiny. Yeah. So I looked at doing it as like 14 count, you know, 28, <laughs> two over two. <laughs> I think I think it's two over two. Yes, uh -huh. Please correct me quickly yeah. if I'm wrong. <laughs> quickly. Um, which makes it bigger. It's like 12, 12 yeah. this way and 14 this way. And I didn't know that when I bought the fabric. So it's gonna come to like that. But I think it's still having an inch or two on the side. It should still be enough for the framing. Yeah. I may not be able to lace it, but I mean, I'll pin it. You could find something. Yeah, we'll do something. It should still so. be doable. But man, you and your history with buying fabric, no one should allow you to buy fabric until someone's double checked your work. I know. Well, I tried to get the Stitcher Express people to, and they started to, and then they were busy, and they were flying, and whatever. So I ended up saying, we'll just do that. But I was going to do the 28 one over one, so I yeah. really thought that was going to be a massive piece that was the smallest they had. Right. I didn't know and I didn't realize it was side longer. Again, with the with the projects that are wider than you think, you think they're taller than they are wide and it's not. In my defense, there's no stitch count anywhere on it, mm. on the kit. Nowhere. 
that it is a problem. So, uh, yeah. It's not like I could just do the math. Okay, what's next? Oh, I poked a bit in the eye. Okay, whips. I have one. <laughs> do two, and then I'll do two, and then you do two. Ow. Keto. Keto, keto. My friend is keto. Keto. Is keto, and he's friendly. Keto. It's not all black. It's mostly black. <laughs> but other stuff's happening. Oh, why is it such a video? Put your eyes in it. Perfect. I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> That's keto. <key though. laughs> Y'all know. Well, okay. Know. I wasn't going to say it, but I'm going to say it because I suck. When I was doing oh. all this black okay. up here, I thought I counted correctly and I didn't. I actually added an extra stitch. So now I'm having to add an extra stitch all the way down because I didn't notice it till about here. I didn't actually notice it until I got to a row with color. <sighs> so I've made an extra row all the way down work for myself. So that last stitch is going to be duplicated because there's no way I'm going up and trying to tear out one stitch. It would, it would be a nightmare. So I'm a complete idiot. I wasn't going to say anything, but I mean, that would be dishonest. So now I do have a question. Yeah. Would it be possible to stitch over that last line with white? I like mean, maybe three but of white. I, I'd rather just duplicate the same All one. The way. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, You've seen the picture. What's gonna What's gonna happen with one no, extra no, no, nothing. black stitch all the way down? I mean, it's not all black, but yeah, you know. Yeah. But but no, I wasn't gonna nice. say. And then I'm like, I even told told Mike. I was like, I'm not gonna tell anyone, but I did this. And then here I am announcing because I can't. I don't have secrets, and and I can't lie. And all of the shames are told. All of the shames. Um, Lay it all out. I'll give you this one because it's closer. Ah, yeah, you know, we gotta do the other one together. Yep. Ouch. I'll do that one because it's not in the bag. <laughs> She's just rifling through all the different ones. Charlene, I did more work. I finished the bulk of down here and did a little bit up here and then I'm doing more of my cannabis plant. Two. Yeah. I haven't had a ton of time, but I've had way more time than usual. <laughs> Great. Now your eyes are in this one too. <laughs> I mean, not more time than like usual, but more time than recently. More time than in like in the last month. Yep. And um, Teresa Little Stitcher, I'm gonna have to link that. Yeah. But, but that's on the it's list. It's on the list. Already. It's fine. Um, she did a thing and she had a like tracking spreadsheet thing and she offered it like on her blog. You could oh, download yeah, it. Oh, I saw that. I and saw I've been it. using that and I absolutely love it because it's, it's really macro. It's like these are your whips. This is um, every one that you've stitched on that month. This is mm -hmm. over the year, how many days have you stitched on it? Mm -hmm. I really like it though, because it keeps the start date and the end date. And you should watch the video on it because otherwise it's kind of confusing how to like move the whip name over so that it picks it up. So just, just watch it, trace a little stitcher. I saw it, it looked cool. I'm not on my computer enough to make it worth it for me, but especially because I'm just starting to do this, the log thing and the book. You know, so if this goes well, then maybe I can transfer it over to digital. But so far, the book's working for me. I haven't missed any days. I, I've like I might not do it that day, but I'll do it the next day. Did so you switch colors? Yet? I didn't. No, mm -hmm. all my it's still all one color. I just figured I'd start that on the next page. That's a lot of stitching. Look at that, 438 on Universal and Charlie. Right. That's right. A lot. 400, 287 on Temperature Tree, and then two days later, 438 on Universe. That's actually supposed to be nine, not six. I thought it said uterus at first. <laughs> not I think just universe, yeah. uterus. It's all the Very same. Very similar. I did 500 something stitches on Ugly Birds on Saturday. Just Doesn't so that know. feel so good it when does. you do more than 500 in a day? That's my I think I've place. only ever done that like twice. <laughs> you want to show your sure. universe since we're discussing since we're talking it? about it? Absolutely. Show us your uterus. <laughs> I will show you my uterus. And my new cuterus? It's right there. <laughs> cuterus. So there's... There's universe in a jar. Yeah, could you pull that up? Thank you. I am finding myself moving further and further away from the parking method. <laughs> like, Don't I am stop still parking. I'm still parking, and it's very helpful for me. But it's getting more and more cross country esque. I told her just go extreme cross country. <laughs> I'm not ready for that because I can't count that much. But you can see I'm going down 20 stitches. Like I'm, I was just staying in the next 10 stitches blocks, you know, 
and now I'm like, well, if I just keep going, then I can go around, and then it loops up better, and it's just been excuses after excuses, but I keep telling myself, if I'm happy doing it, just do it. So, I agree, but I think it's insane. I would never do 25 count two over one, anything other than perking. I don't know how you get those. It's I not, had that not with, that bad. With ugly perks, I had a bad. few that I had skipped, and I had to go back in and try to jam them in there, and oh, I was like, oh, yeah. this is why I don't do well, that. Well, see, I, yeah, I do it kind of strategically. I try to do the one-off stitches first, and then I do the bigger stitches, so that way you're not going back and finding the one little I'm hole. Good, it's strategic. Yeah. It's I'm okay. way too squirrel for strategic. Yeah. I'm happy with the amount of progress I did though. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm excited you're finally stitching. Yeah, I'm stitching a lot. And watching Foster. Every once in a while I'll turn around now that we show in the office and she's watching like today she was watching Kim it's at true. one point. I was like, what? I was watching Kim. I think I um, caught her watching Christine the other day. Yep. You're watching people. But I if I name what? drop, you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff to put in your <laughs> Just keep naming people. I thought there was going to be something else you I was going to say. Me. Did I? Your hair. I whipped my oh, hair back and forth. I my nose. I'm sorry. I would do that, but I'd just get a headache and hit myself in the face. <laughs> yeah. I thought there was something else I was going to say about that. Sorry. <laughs> but I don't, I don't recall now, so I guess... I guess that's it. Alright, so we can do a... Well, should I do the ugly and then... We both show the temp. Whatever you want. Oh, I was gonna take a picture. That's probably what I was thinking I was gonna do. Probably. I'm no longer going to say entertain the people, so. <laughs> You've learned your lesson. You will not do that again. I know I do. She's doing all that behind me. You monster, you. Smiley face. Go ahead. Ugly words. I made it to the bottom of the column. Yeah. So the that's end insane. is one, two, three. The end is there. That's the end. That's the second page, that's the end. It's only two pages wide and five or six pages tall. Yep. So, there's my ugly chickens. Still a mochetti, paid. 25 I was, count. I was impressed. I believe her name was Adrian. She saw me, I posted a picture of this. That's what I was gonna say. Heaven and Earth on the, the <sighs> Facebook say. page. And I, I use my human name on Facebook, not my <laughs> stitching at the cabin name. Yeah. But she recognized it, and she said, is that you? And it was like, oh my gosh. Like, I felt like a celebrity. I've never been recognized yeah, like that. Me. You know what I mean? So I thought that was funny. So hi, Adrian. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> she, yep. Is she a new stalker then? I don't know. I don't think so. C stalker competitions? <laughs> Jen is not a stalker. I called her a stalker. I joke that she's a stalker, but just to be clear, she's not. <laughs> not scary oh. people following us. <laughs> Are we both doing this one? Yep. Temperature tree time. Temperature trees. Now, I have a thread attached because I'm looking on the trunk. Oh, and I, I looked. Oh! You yeah. said you had a thread attached. And I was like, where? And then, and then I was like, colors. Was, Mine colors. looks like a circus <laughs> with a lot of green and then like three <gasps> weird colors so I'm just warning you it's not the most attractive tree I've ever seen I'm hoping for either some cold or some warm but this in-between crap has got to stop I'm so tired of the green uh, mine looks beautiful <laughs> sure it does let's show them first okay. this time ready and go wow <laughs> all right i i can't even see my leaves <laughs> you can't oh, see you my leaves either that's the problem Ooh, i haven't seen this mm -hmm. yet i mean i can sort of see it looks pretty but i okay, can't really see just just look look at here <gasps> that is beautiful i like how your three colors are all right there <laughs> in the middle i know that's why it looks like a clown green thing. green 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 red blue, or yellow no, blue red, red green green green, green. green. Well, technically, that's those three are teal, but yeah, show them close up. <sighs> it was going all green, and then it got a yellow because it got warm, and then it got cooler, and then it got really cold, and then it went back to warm. It's supposed to snow Thursday. Today's Tuesday. It's supposed to snow Thursday. Oh, and did I tell you I had to undo part of it? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get to that. Oh no, we... no, something else oh. I forgot to tell you. Something yeah, hers is just all pretty. Mine looks all mangled. Look how much of the tree I did. How much of the tree did you do? Oh, you started much. doing the opposite side yeah. too. Okay, yeah. interesting. But, I mean, you can see up close. You can see I have an extra branch that I had to take mm. out. I When I went back oh, yeah, to do I it, that. I miscounted 
the long section yes. thingy, and so all that was in the wrong place. I, I get when that. When I ended, this yeah. branch wasn't sticking out. This branch wasn't sticking out further than that branch. That branch wasn't sticking out further than that branch. That's how you know there's a problem. Like, yeah. Then it turned out I hadn't finished the last few stitches on the bottom branch, but whatever. Now what's funny is I was working on this at um, Jacob's family cabin this last weekend. I went there. And I was kind of doing it in the dark a little bit. And I mis messed up January 11th leaf. I put it in the wrong place. So what I did is oh, I yeah, just made it... Look at that. Yeah, I just made it look like a leaf. So it's... Oops. So it's that one. That's the leaf. And it's not supposed to be like that. But I made it look like a leaf. I added, I think, two extra stitches to make it look kind of okay-ish. This is one. And then I wait, talked... Which one? It's this one, right? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah. This is what it's supposed to look like. That one right there. And I talked to mom about it today, and she's like, oh, I messed up a leaf, too. We messed up the same, same leaf. leaf. And did the same thing on the, the same, same leaf. The exact same mistake on the same <laughs> leaf. But I undid mine and she just fudged it. Yeah, so yeah, so did yeah, you see you. See, mine's just like more oh. of a droopy leaf. Yeah. Yeah, you have a droopy and I have. Okay. See? But like, okay. it's like it's similar. Like, no one would look at that and think. Yeah. Are you going to take pictures of them? Do you want me yes. to? Yes. Oh, yes. I was, oh, do you want me to hold them both together? But you, no, you don't because, have a file for well, that. Oh, do yeah. you? No, no, I do. You do? Well, you not for file? both. Oh, I'm for individually. Saying. Sorry. I could, uh... Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't do the before and after on the floss tube, but I, I organized my computer. So now all of our pictures have their own folders where the folders look like the project. Like, I took a picture really of it in the folder. It's really cool. So now we have a better... And then I label each photo with the date. So now we have folders for all of our stuff with the dates. So that way we can look at where we were at any given time. So that's why I took pictures of those. What list? Your oh, to do yeah. list. Okay, I shouldn't put it on my list. Go ahead. I could do Bella Mirabilia. Mirabilia. I can do that. Okay. Yeah. okay. New studs. <laughs> I have written Fairy down tale. Fairy Tale. Mm hmm. But Akito, the British, early Yeah, no, that was all mine. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I had it in. Fairy Tale. Why have we not started Fairy Tale? Not here. No fabric. If I jinxed it last week by saying we'll probably have the first stitches in this week. No fabric. And it was my fault for saying that. And I just want to point out that I bought the hyacinth fabric last week and it was here yesterday, so. On the bright side, now I have also talked to the very nice lady and we had a full conversation. Apparently weather in Canada is not that great right now. And it has moved in the last few days. It's still not in the United States. But it moved from Nova Scotia to Ontario. Pickering. Pickering, Ontario. And I was like, how long could that possibly take? And it was 21 hours. 22? 22 hours. 22 hours, I think, when you use Google. I mm -hmm. was shocked. And I was like, is there any place in the U.S. that is that fun? And she's like, are you stupid? And I was thinking, like, maybe, like, California to Maine. Maybe. Like, I mean, I don't know. And she's like... I said... To the phone. I don't want I to say, say it in case it actually Hey, listens. Siri. How long would it take me to drive to Houston, Texas? Traffic to Houston is light, so it should take 20 hours and 54 minutes via I-10 East. I, we think it's very funny that it tells you what freeway. If you take the 10, like, as if there's only one freeway to get there. So I felt stupid. So then we started, yeah. she was asking all sorts of things. And to Maine, to Washington, to Florida. <laughs> She's like, wow, it takes a long time to get to the other side of the country. I'm like, she has but obviously not gone on a road trip. I have, but only to California. To California. Yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> to other parts of California. I know. It was the furthest I've gone. That was like 14 hours. We came back from Idaho. But like the, the Florida one is like, if you take the 10, the traffic is light and it will take one day, 21 hours, hours and 21 three minutes. minutes. <laughs> and yeah. it was funny because it's like traffic is light, really, all the way across the country, traffic is light. For and the I'm next only day and 21 the hours. Because to get from here to like Costa Mesa, I have to take like five freeways and it takes three hours. It's pretty funny. So, I don't think it's just cute the way it tells you. No, I don't think you just take the 10 and um, I don't think it's light traffic. No. And I think you're wrong about everything. Anyways, okay, and the it's, other we don't one, have it. So. The other one I was supposed to try to check a bit and I told you I couldn't and why. And so I don't, yeah, I don't, Plus, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Or I don't know. Okay, so um, other. This is still stitchy, but it's it's an other um, closet remodel. 
I had mentioned before that I wanted to be model of a closet. I finally nagged my husband enough till he gave me the name of the closet people that we used in the master closet. And so I got with them and um, I was trying to do it online and it got really complicated with the yeah. tool thing. It's a great tool. Um, easy closet in case you, you want to try to design yeah. your own closet. It, it is a good tool. It's just in this particular situation, I was trying to shove something in the corner and it wouldn't let me. So I was like, fine. So they have a free design thing. So I mean, that thing's free, but, but they'll have somebody do it. A human will design it for you for free. So we went back and forth for a while and designed something. And I have to wait a few weeks to get a lower price because we're going to have a sale, but not till the end of this month, beginning of next month. So I have to wait three weeks, but I'm going to redo the closet. So we'll do a before, during, after, whatever. I'm going to have to paint. We'll have to, in fact, it's going to make filming weird because I got to take stuff out of there to paint. Yeah. And so it's three weeks before I can order can it. Move. And then only three days for them to manufacture it. And then the shipping's free, but I think it ships from like back east. I don't really know. So it's not going to be that long once yeah. they do it. So I need to get in there. So it's going to be weird for filming because I got to take everything out and put it someplace. So... We'll either film in a different room or we're going to film with stuff all around us. But I will include y'all in the closet remodel. I'm excited. I wish it was cheaper, but... You know you like the closet. So I love the closet. This is a great company, so if you're going to do it, why not do it? And I think it'll really People help you trust. to... Because it's pretty shocking in there right now. Like, I mean, there's stuff that doesn't belong in... It's, it's my stitchy closet, and there's like electronic stuff and there's like a speaker and some of the stuff when we moved just got stuck in those boxes of things that like it's not crafty stuff so it needs to get out and then i want to because i've got this cabinet thing over here that stores some stuff and with diamond painting and paint by numbers and crocheting and all that i got i got yeah. a lot of stuff to fandangle places fandangle i was thinking reconnoiter but then somebody told me that's not the right word and don't let so. people tell you what word <laughs> is. You use words how you want to use words. Okay. Okay. Oh, use my words. You use your words. So, that should be coming up yes. in February. Look for that beginning of February. Mm -hmm. Um, Llama Lump. <laughs> I have that on there. Because you mentioned you liked Llama Lump. Yeah. I like it. I want it. <laughs> I would I like for you to encourage her to rotate. <laughs> I, uh, who's doing the Four Seasons with the lumps and the... Oh, uh, Jessie Marie does stuff. I saw that, and I really like that idea of she's, taking the different stacks of animals and she's doing, doing seasons. She's doing sheep llama lumps. Mm -mm, she may not be doing llama lump. That was just an Oh, yeah, option. you're right. Something is next to that. I can't remember the lumps. summary one that she's doing to the right of that. And then there's she's doing the gobble gob. One. And uh -huh. then she's she was thinking about doing a rack stack on the right. bottom for more of a wintry. Because she noticed they were kind of seasonal. seasonal. I should say autumnal, but I just like that word. <laughs> seasonal. But I can't yeah. remember what the summary one is. Mm -hmm. So when she's working on now, but... Mm -hmm. I don't remember either. I don't know. I would definitely do Llama Lump, though. Because that one's, that one's really cute. I like Rack Stack. That one's really cute, too. And I have it's the needle mind of Sheep Peep. It's yep. all my Christmas sentiments. Which is funny, because... And I need to change this. I have... In fact, I think oh, it's right here. I have... How odd is this? I have this needle minder that I wanted to put on the tree, temperature tree, but I hadn't done it. But on the temperature tree, I have Santa. So I want to take that off and put it on Christmas, Christmas sentiments. sentiments. And on Christmas sentiments, I have sheep heap. So I, I'm just going to take that off for now. But I'm trying to get my husband. Everybody, please help me nag at him. He says he'll do it, but... Cool. Group nag, group nag. I want him to make me a needle miner holder, but I don't want just like a whiteboard or, you know, I want something exciting. So I asked him if he could find a way to make it so it was like, look like wood, but mm -hmm. was magnetic and not just like a magnet here and there, but like, so I could put a magnet anywhere. So he, he says he thinks he has the stuff in the cabin to do it, but help me nag, group nag, 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 I love you. I really want that. I could use that now. But even before the cloth, I could use that now. I have needle menders. I saw three in the hall when I walked yeah. by. I have once I take that sheep heap off. I've had this one in a bag. This has been with Flanders Fields because I bought it at the same time I bought right. that. So I have needle minders all over too. So, it would be nice yeah. to that way you can it's easier to switch them out too. So if you decide 
you know, like I need a needle minder refresher. It's easier to just grab them off the board and put the new ones on there. So that way it's less. Exactly. Because I keep them with the projects that I'm working on, but I also have some that don't have projects. And I just have to just sit in a sad little bag. Yeah, I am happy to stick them on things. <laughs> like, you, know, you guys all laugh at me yeah. for keto. Why does keto have so many needle minders? But I actually use them. And yeah. Ugly Village could still use one. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll do Christine tag. I did the highest in the fabric. Okay, Jeep. So Christine tag. Okay. This is the last stitchy related item and then you're free. Unless you want to know more. I'm really glad it ain't the paper <laughs> cut. I got real scared. Hashtag the Christine tag. One. Christine stitch all the things. That's where this came from. She did a oh, yeah. <laughs> stitch with me. Christine, you Her did a stitch. It was a stitch below. with me, right? I think she just stitched with me when she did this. I don't know. I didn't see it. She did several videos at once, which she doesn't normally do. I mean, like, and so I got all excited and I, I've jumbled them in my head and I've commented. I Find it. Send one. it to me and it's linked below. And it is literally hashtag the Christine tag. I okay. wrote it down up there. Hashtag the Christine tag. And it's episode 125. Look, I made a note. You did. Episode 125, Christine stitch all the things. I think it's just stitch all the things, but she is in my head, Christine stitch all the things. Which People apparently is better than kill, which is what I wanted to call her because her Hawaiian name oh. was like kill huam huam And I said, oh, I can say that better than Christine because of my speech impediment. Can I call you kill for short? I don't think she appreciated that. She said if it's easier to say her Hawaiian name to go ahead, but that I would have to poke at her because she wasn't know I was talking to her. But I can't say the actual Hawaiian name. I was just going to shorten it to kill. But anyways. Anyway. Okay. One. Have you ever called into a radio station? Why? Yes. Why? I, I didn't, Why? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get on though. You know, it was to win tickets or something. Yeah, I think I called once in high school mm -hmm. and I was thinking like, why? I mean, it was to win tickets, and I didn't. I didn't win them, but I think it was Guns N' Roses and mm. um, November Rain. That is Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses and Metallica when they were in concert together. I think that's what I was trying to win. It was that or Black Crows. I don't Interesting. Remember. I think mine was probably like for an amusement park, but also I listen to 104.3 a lot, mm -hmm. and they text in. They do a lot of text and stuff, so you can text in, so they'll have like a conversation going, and you can text in your own stories or whatever, and I've done that before. They've never read mine on. But I, I have texted them oh, I thought you were going to talk about the sound thing. Like they oh, have, what's, what's that, that sound? sound? No, I've never and tried that. They no, play no. a sound, and then you can win money trying to figure out what the sound no. is. And No, they'll just be I'm talking about wrong. something funny or something like, has this ever happened to you? And you can text in, and I've texted in before. But it's an amusing it. station. I don't drive anywhere anymore. But it's but good. If I did. It's a goodie. Yeah. Why what was an odd anymore? task or chore you were given as a child? Oh. I remember I'm your mom, so. I know. Um. I. You might say this never happened. I just think it didn't I happen. It so didn't happen. At the I don't know what old house, about. we had the like overhang thingy. The first I think, old house I think or the, the first old, old house. house. Okay. Or the, like like the Corona house. They were all in Corona. Like the, the first house okay. we had. There's like a like wooden patio thingy outside and that there was spiders there and one time a bunch of spiders made a web in the thing and they made me whack it down with a broom so I could take the dog out. That doesn't sound familiar. You say that doesn't happen, but it happened, and it was very traumatic it had to because been, spiders were big. It had to have been the first that. house, because we didn't have yeah. an overhang at the second house. But um, you had a wooden overhang at the first house, didn't you? Um, didn't you? It was started out as aluminum, and we tore it down the day we moved in. In fact, he tore it down, I think, the before we moved in. Mm. And it, he might have put up a wooden one. Mm -hmm. You had these little spiders that were, like, this big, and they made a web across the whole entire freaking thing, and there were, like, two or three of them, so I couldn't take the dog out because we had a big dog. I can't take them out until I whacked them all down. I don't I know that, but, but it's good. It's funny because my odd task as a child involves a bug too. Really? It does. I um, It still traumatizes me to this day. <laughs> You're like kind of twitching out a little. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I grew up, we had these, I think they were called water bugs, mm. but they were like cockroaches and if you mm. stepped on them they were really crunchy and and mm, I just got a and, yeah my nobody back. wanted to kill them because of terrifying crunch <laughs> and well I mean, we didn't have like tons of them but we had them and occasionally they, they were mostly out by the pool but occasionally you would get them in the house and so I was cleaning my room which is not an odd chore but I didn't enjoy it but I was cleaning my room I mean I was probably eight or nine I would guess and 
I found one dead in between the base blade and the clip bit. Yeah. Maybe not like shoved it, not like I yeah, shoved yeah, it, but yeah. you know, kind of wedged in it. And so I went to my mom, mom, this is bug, and she's like, vacuum it up. And I was like, no, no, it'll make a <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And she's like, you know, like you're the big girl, you can do it. And and she may she watches this. She may not remember this, but I I swear to you with every it. ounce of my being it happened. So I sat on the floor in my bedroom crying. I was gonna say crying, right? Crying because I did not want to suck this thing up. And it probably took me two hours to finally get up the courage. And I sucked it up and it did that <laughs> through the vacuum and I was so traumatized. <laughs> to this day when I'm vacuuming and you suck up like a little nail, a staple or something, I want to scream and run. I do not like vacuuming. I will do it and I do do it, but I do not like it because that bug makes noise. I love it. That is so relatable. Oh, another time I'll, I'll tell you about my cricket. Uh, <laughs> it's relatable. I am not afraid of crickets. I will pick them up because of her. <gasps> she's such a cricket wuss. Yeah, we need to discuss that one day. <sighs> to you, number three, do you remember any recurring dreams from your childhood? Oh, I really should have thought about these beforehand. <laughs> you go first. No. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I'm oh. sure that I'm like, I can't go first. No, I've never really had recurring dreams. Like, uh. like my my dream that I've had all my life, and I still have, that is sounds like a recurring dream. It, but it's not because it, it, everything's different. But oh. the one thing that is consistent in the dream mm -hmm. is that I can't spread my legs apart. Like mm. I'm trying to run, and they're stuck together. And it took me. 30, no, 40, probably 40 years to finally realize why. Because when I sleep, I sleep sideways with my legs. You can't see, and she's gonna eat me, but let's pretend my legs are the, on top of each other like that. So I feel that in my sleep. Right. And I realize I can't separate them because I'm asleep and you can't move. So that and having to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. I have that dream weekly where I'm someplace I have to go to the bathroom and there's always something wrong like the toilet doesn't work or there's the toilet's overflowing with something nasty or I'd have to vacuum up a cockroach to go right. to the bathroom you know, there's always something and so then I wake up like oh I have to go to the bathroom but if I go I'm just gonna have to go again because like that's how it feels like mm -hmm. you yeah it's like having a, a bladder mm -hmm. infection mm -hmm. kind of thing and then I wake up and I'm fine like once I go I'm like oh Oh, I don't feel like I have to go still. Yay. It was just a dream. Yeah. I don't remember one from childhood. Childhood. Childhood? childhood. I definitely have, like, dreams that recur in location, definitely. Like, I'll invent a weird house, and then something else will happen in that house, and then, like, a few weeks later, something else will happen in that house. But I'd say, like, the most recurring dream wasn't from childhood, but from, like, the time I've been driving. I could almost every night have a dream that I'm in a car and the brakes don't really mm. work. They're like really squishy, so you have to like, and it's like, nope, I can't stop today, oh well, and then I have to like try to get places without breaks, and it's really stressful, and it's one of those dreams where it's so realistic, you wake up thinking that it's kind of true, so when I get in the car in the morning, I'm like, oh man, I hope no one stops, and then it's like, <laughs> I like step on the brakes, I'm like, my brakes work fine, what is wrong? But do you have to night. go to the bathroom? Nope, never had that your problem. legs? Can you run? <laughs> Absolutely, not really run, but I can, yeah, I can do mostly it's, everything. It's like I can get them that far apart so I can move like my... waddling. Yeah, it's like you can just... Ugh. I hate yeah. that. Christy, why stupid. are you bringing up all these bad memories? This is so dramatic. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. I'm going to go first only because mine's less impressive. Number four. Can you curl your tongue? Oh, yeah. You should re ask that question because that was a word I couldn't Can say. you curl your tongue? I can. Uh, mm, mm, any way you want me to do it. She is a freak. You know how contortionists can do weird things? Okay. She has a it's contortion not that impressive. tongue. She has no in eh, her nose. It's super squishy. And her tongue. Do it. Go really close and I, do it. I can do taco. I can do burrito. And I can do taco burrito. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Who can do that? Who can do that? I have to do it to the birds sometimes. I'm like, show the birds. <laughs> I mean, they're just impressed by a tongue at all. So they're like, it's really not much different. I don't know. I've never met anyone else that can do that. Can you do that? Can you do that? <laughs> Number five. 
What is something you have struggled with throughout your whole life? Drinking water without choking. <laughs> that literally happens at least once, if not twice or three times a week. But I, I mean... Who can you be a sick old person? You're gonna get pneumonia because <laughs> you keep inhaling water. You know how many times I say, ah, choking? Nah. You do say that a lot. I do. I, Why? I just... Is it because your tongue does that weird thing? <laughs> I feel like there's something more profound, but... Well, while you think about that, don't entertain the people. While you think about that, I'll go. Um, I have always struggled with people-pleasing and having mm -hmm. boundaries, saying no. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at saying no, and I want everybody mm -hmm. to like me, and I care really much what people think, and, and I'm a mess. Hmm. I wish I was more adventurous. Oh, I wish I was fun. I'm not fun. Yeah. That legacy book, one of the questions was, what's the silliest thing you've ever done? And I was like, I'm not silly. There's nothing silly about me. I've made faces fun. in the mirror before. <laughs> I should have written that. I've yeah. done that. Yeah, see? It's exciting. I've crawled around on the floor like a dog. It's all perspective. I mean... I did I... that the other day behind you to steal some of your candy. That's true. I... <laughs> she did. <laughs> see, she's... She's fun. Mm. Odd. Six. Can you pill it all punk? Can you drive a stick shift? Yes, although I would prefer not to parallel park, but I have, and I can, and I can drive a stick shift, but you shouldn't <laughs> ask me to or want me to. I have done it. I've driven on freeways. I've driven not on freeways. I've gone to the grocery store and back. I've driven by myself, but I wouldn't if given the option not to. I'm going to go with kind of. I pillow poked last week, and mm -hmm. in fact, I pillow poked better than I straight poke. <laughs> That's not saying much. Poking is not my strength. <laughs> Driving at night, I don't enjoy. The older I get, the worse it gets. I'm not good at... Like, I'm fine with driving, but I don't like to do it. It's going to so, be a miracle if we get to Arizona <laughs> safe. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. um, so I can pillow poke. I've done it twice in my life that I remember, and mm -hmm. I did it successfully both times. However... It's not something that I would choose to do, and I don't enjoy it, and I'm not sure whether it was luck or skill. Mm -hmm. Can I drive a stick shift? In theory, yes, I know how to. Mike taught me how to drive the Jeep. Um, if he was here right now, he would be screaming, no, she can't, no, she can't, don't ever let her do it. I remember one time I stopped, I was behind, behind the motorhome, so when we had the motorhome we would tow the jeep mm -hmm. and one time he asked me to move the jeep up behind the motorhome so that we could latch it on and he does the, the finite lining it up but I do the main, I hold the thing up and this way left, that way, that you know, whatever. Yeah. So I pulled up the jeep and I stopped and I went to get out and the jeep went oh! because apparently I didn't do something. <laughs> you knew something was wrong. So. In theory, I could. If his leg literally fell off and we were on the side of a mountain and it was downhill, I could do it. If his leg fell off, we were on a mountain going uphill, I would find him a long stick so that he could use that on the clutch because <laughs> to be fair, it shouldn't be your him. Jeep, it's a Jeep that you have, is, that's a stick shift, and it's mm -hmm. geared wrong. So it's it really is. hard it to start. Very hard because we got a Jeep that stick shift and it was so much easier. I stalled out like twice in the whole day I was driving it instead of 18 times just to well, get out of the parking lot. Maybe I should try the Jeep then. You really should. <laughs> because all of now is because their alignment's now messed oh, up. Oh, okay. We, um, we raised those. We put a lift kit on it. We, we, because, you know, you were definitely it was me, a part you know. Of that. <laughs> I put the fenders on. <laughs> he, he, he lifted it and, um, so it's not geared right, and he's going to fix it. He's going to take it to a geared place because he doesn't want to do it himself. But um, it's expensive. It's a couple thousand dollars, I think, to do it. And he keeps saying, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, but it's a lot of money, and it's not fun, and it, the Jeep's up at the cabin, so we'd have to bring it down here. And so he keeps saying, I'll do it in the summer because, you know, it doesn't have a lid on. and <laughs> you know, have a lid. <laughs> anyway, long story to say, neither of us should be driving. Yeah. Um, seven, how well do you react when the Internet is slow and the computer acts up? Depends on what I'm doing. Generally, I'm pretty okay with it. I, I, I stitch, I read, like, it's fine. I don't need internet to live. But, like, for instance, we have so many problems with our spectrum 
the TV portion. So when the TV portion starts acting up again, it's like, really? You're gonna do this again? And then you're restarting the internet because it's internet based? Yeah, and then it's like, I'm gonna call those people. I can't believe it's not working again. And then you get kind of angry. Yeah. It's you're okay scared. though. <laughs> it's okay, most of the time I'm nice and it's fine. I Just... only get traumatized when it's like, the blue screen of death, or if it's something so bad that I think the computer's not gonna come back from it, slow I can handle. Just if something's wrong, wrong, that's concerning. I mean, I'm a little slow, so. <laughs> it works out. I can handle that. But, well, unless I'm like on the phone and I'm getting emails and texts and everybody wants something and the computer's slow and I'm like, ooh, yeah. then yeah, I'm a little stressed. But I, I don't get angry, I don't yell. Right. I, I get scared. I used to cry when things went wrong because I thought it was so bad and the job I had, I didn't think, you know, I thought they were going to like fire me because I couldn't do it and I'm calling my, oh, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> I'm, You're better now. I'm better now. I've taught you some I haven't lessons cried over the computer in years. So. Yeah. Hang on real quick. I just need to make sure it sounds recording. Okay, it is. Whew, I just had like anxiety <laughs> about it. it wasn't. I know, I didn't want um, to do it. Number eight. Have you ever sent a meal back at a restaurant? <laughs> um, no, but I had an interesting occurrence at Starbucks, and I'll let you tell your story, because I know what she's going to tell you. Um, I went to Starbucks the other day, through the drive-thru, mm -hmm. and I like getting hot peppermint mochas, usually mm -hmm. grandes, and I ask for half the amount of peppermint that you normally put in it, which I think is two pumps, so that way it's more like a mocha, but with like a little bit of peppermint instead of like peppermint syrup in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So I asked for it. She said, oh yeah, absolutely no problem. And the screen though didn't say what I asked for quite right. I was like, well, maybe she fixed it because she like, I didn't even get to see the total. She's just like, yeah, okay, fine, go ahead, pull up. So I was like, okay, well maybe she like changed it. We have drive through Starbucks in case you don't. I, does anyone not have drive through Starbucks? Does anyone not have Starbucks? No. <laughs> I was probably not. <laughs> Continue. So, so I go to the window, I pay. I get the drink, I pull up, and then I'm like, you know, I'm gonna check it. And I pull down the little drink, warm, safe, cozy, cool, <laughs> cozy thingy. And sure enough, it says peppermint mocha with two pumps of raspberry syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but did they really? <laughs> so <laughs> would do that. No offense if you do that. That might be so your favorite drink. I pulled up and I take a sip and I went, mm, yeah. <laughs> I park, I'm wearing PJs, Crocs, my hair's like up in a bun. Go inside, I said, hi, I just ordered this, but you mistakenly put two pumps of raspberry syrup in it. It's just supposed to have two pumps of peppermint. Actually, one pump, right? Two, two, because it's usually four. Yeah, it's a two. Oh, oh, oh two and yeah. half. No, nope. no, no, it's usually four. I asked for two, so they're like, yeah. I said, yeah. yeah. They're like, you don't want this, right? I'm like... You can take it. I, I don't need it. I don't need to keep the free drink. I... But she comes to work and she tells me the story and then she's drinking it. She's like, I think it tastes like raspberry. And I'm like, give it to me. And I taste it. And it tastes like raspberry. Like there's no like way raspberry. they use the same cup. But it's no, in my head the sticker like wasn't raspberry. on it. So they definitely used a different cup. But, but I now agree. It tastes a little no, like raspberry. Steve offered to get me one because I have a gift card. Thank you, Granny. Steve offered to get me one the other day. And I was like, I think I'm going to wait till <laughs> Frappuccino season. I don't think... I I don't want yeah, raspberry. That's the only time I really returned something. Oh, I didn't answer. No, Have I sent it. a meal back? Um, yes, but no. <laughs> it, it was very understandable. I tried. We went to a restaurant that is no longer in business, thank you very much. <laughs> and um. I had a tuna melt. And I was eating along, and, and I don't remember who all was there, but it was I a group there. of people. And, and I'm munching down my sandwich, and then all of a sudden I'm like, mmm. Oh, um, 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 and everybody looks at me. I'm like, um, 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 um. <laughs> and there's this big round thing, big round thing. I'm like, I don't know what this is. It was like plasticky. I'm like, I don't know. So we called the waitress over. I think I put it on a napkin, and I was like, I don't know what that is, but that was in my sandwich. And she's like, oh. And so she takes the napkin and she goes in the back and she comes it out and she says, well, when we scoop the tuna, we use an ice cream scooper and the little plastic molded part that goes in the handle had come out. The little... <laughs> it was in my mouth. 
I mean, I'm lucky I didn't like bite into it and like break a tooth, but but it was in my mouth. <laughs> Would you believe they did not take my meal back and like offer me a new one? They also did not comp like the entire meal. They just like took off half of my sandwich. Half of your sandwich? Yeah. It wasn't like anybody's meal. I mean that, that is nasty. 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 So I tried to send it back, but it didn't go <laughs> didn't back. Work. <laughs> you want success? You should have stood up for yourself. I should have. Stop being I a should have. Pleaser. I should have. And and today I would. I'd be like, ah, no, no, <laughs> I've been through this before. <laughs> no. Well, we went when we were in Scotland. We went to one of those Michelin star meal things, yeah. and and they serve you all those little. It's a tasting menu thing, and you pay a billion dollars to taste tiny, weird, gourmet, foofy things. Trinkets. Yeah, <laughs> trinkets. And my piece of chicken, <laughs> it was a bird of some sort, I don't know, chicken, actually had buckshot in it. I had, <gasps> I had bullets in my mouth. <laughs> and so I went, and it was like two of them. And I called the bullets over and I'm like, look, I have like bullets. And they're like, yeah, sometimes that happens when, when we shoot the bullets, when they shoot the bullets. I mean, I felt so bad that they shot bullets, right? That happens. It's actually lucky. No! Yeah. No, it's yeah. not! You're lucky I didn't break a tooth. So I'm scared to eat anything. Know about yeah. That one. Everything oh, that's ends funny. up odd in my I end wow. up with all the trinkets in my mouth. Wow, weird. Mm. <sighs> Nine. There's only three more. Including this one. It's 30 minutes until dinner time and you've not planned anything to make. What do you do? Bagel bites or pizza rolls. I don't cook anymore. It's been nice. My husband took over the cooking in the last year. I don't know why. I'm not a terrible cook, but maybe he thinks I am. I don't know. But he's been cooking. So if it's 30 minutes, not my problem. <laughs> but a lot of times we would order pizza. And back when I did cook, it was a lot of like, ah. Uh, Spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to go to the grocery store. Now that Steve drives, I'm like, Steve, go to the grocery store. Yeah, it's usually just me cooking for me, too. So like noodles. Well, I don't have a family, so it's not like... I'm your family. But you don't live with me. No. You're not gonna come over to eat. No. It's too long of a trip. Yeah, if you do, I'll give you bagel bites. Mm. I have I have those at the cabin. I don't need them. Is there a word you have always pronounced incorrectly but didn't realize it until later in life? And I realized yes. I said cozy instead of cozy, but I know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look it up. She read me the list a few days ago. Um, so I could think about it and then I didn't. Um, but I did look this one up because I know there's always a phrase that I always get wrong and I didn't know until literally two or three years ago. Well, literally. <laughs> um, for all intents and purposes, I seriously thought it was for all intensive purposes, which kind of makes sense. Intensive? Intensive purposes for like all of the intensive purposes, but it's all intents and purposes. But then she started reading me the list, and then I was getting really angry because there's like, a lot of things people say wrong. Because I, I looked up like, like most most often like, wrong really? phrases. You didn't know that? Not, not yeah, yeah, that yeah. one, but some yeah, of yeah. them. Like you didn't know that. I can't think of anything. I mean, I'm sure that there is, but I you're just I, Miss Big Brain over no, there. No, I just well, I read a lot, so that helps. That helps, for sure. but. I, but there's definitely stuff. I just don't know. That's, Doesn't he know? Yeah, it's dead. Well, we're almost dead. Um, no offense, Pookie. Hi. <laughs> Love you. you. We hit the button on accident. I'll, I'll say something to you in a minute. And last one, what's your social media pet peeve? I really thought that said what's your social security number. It's Christine. <laughs> Why? How much money would you have if, you're, if you had the same amount of money as your social security number? Dad's calling me now. Hang up. Um... What was the question? Oh, social media peeve. Pet peeve. What time is it? Five one nine. Okay, I'll go while you're thinking. I have two and they're sort of related. I'm really only on Facebook mostly. I mean, I'm on Instagram, but that's stitchy. Human me is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so my stitchy stuff is kind of separate on Facebook. And anyway, none of that matters. I, um, I have people that I'm fairly decent friends with that there's like one in particular and she jams politics down your throat every single day. The mm. funny thing is we have the same beliefs and I'm totally on her side but it's gotten to be so much every day and so forcefully that I'm just like stop, stop. I get that. Yeah, I understand that. And then I hate the ones where it's like 
if someone paid you a million dollars, would you live in this cabin? And it's like the most gorgeous cabin, like, really? And then if yeah. if you would, like, and if you, whatever, then shit. Like, yeah. I hate that. Like, I want more personal stuff. And I know, yeah. like, Granny doesn't post a lot of personal stuff, but at least she's funny and educational. It's different, though. It's beautiful. It's not the share it's, for yeah, this. I hate Copy that. and paste this to see which one of your friends that you actually yes. read your posts. Like, yeah. I don't need any of that. No, don't, I don't care. Don't add extra stress. Facebook no. is to, like, relax, not stress. And then I have a I friend agree. who, he's huge animal activist, which, like, go. Go for it. That's not a bad thing, right? I don't you know, go. maybe. You go. This is not Heil Hitler. You go. You go do, do animal, animal, things. animal things. Like, that's awesome. But he posts a ton of videos of animal cruelty, and oh, I cannot, yes. I cannot watch that. Yes. So I actually had to block that kind mm -hmm. of content from him. I actually had to block a friend, too. Like, I, I'm still friends with them because I care, but I yeah. actually said it, I don't want their stuff popping up on my feed because they were doing the same thing. And usually Facebook blocks things. It's like, click on it if you want to see it. Yeah, yeah. But one of them didn't, and it was this guy beating this dog, yeah. and I, it's ingrained in my memory. Yeah. I can't get that out. And from then, I blocked everything. I, I was like, I don't want to see that. I start crying watching that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Like, you can say, look, this happened. Go to this link to see it. But, like, yeah. don't. Because it auto plays videos, so yeah. like it's not me clicking on it. It auto plays videos, and I don't want that. No, no, no. no. I've only no, offended no. two people in my whole over the decade of Facebook. We're very easygoing people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One was for that cabiny kind of junk. Yeah, and the other one actually was because she kept asking me to let her live with us, and would I ice her legs and like, and I don't know her. Like, I we went to high school, but I knew her sister in high school. I don't even know her. Mm. And so it got, and she never posted anything on Facebook, just would message like yeah. a group of us and say, oh, oh, woe is me, all this awful stuff, will you do this? Will you? And I was like, okay. I mean, it was like Weird. eight years I put up with it, and then I was like, no. I also get kind of annoyed when they use your friendship to try to do like Mary Kay or <sighs> wine stuff or whatever. Like, and don't, don't try to be all like, hey, I haven't talked to you in so long. And you're like, oh yeah, hey, how are you? Great, I'm doing this thing. And you're yeah. like, now I've started the conversation, <laughs> so it's not like I can just pretend your message went to spam. Like, I hate that. Oh, I'd say that's a really big pet peeve because that has happened to me multiple times. But also, um, I have some friends that will post, and it's that very vague, they clearly want yes. you to give them oh, attention kind oh, of messages. And it's like, you know, today is just the worst day ever, and I don't know that I can make it through. I, I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> like, I have sympathy, but, like, can we, like, either give me the full story or just say, like, I really need, like, thoughts and prayers right now or, like, I, I need someone to talk to. Like, you could say stuff like that, but don't do this, like, I don't want to talk about it, but my life really sucks right now. It's like... I'm like, I can't believe that woman talked to me that way. She knows who she is. Like, what, this is what this is for. Yeah. This is so weird. I don't get it. Some people Message use social media me weird. and tell me you need to talk to me. Or tell me what happened if you don't want to do it publicly. But don't use Facebook to like make me ask you what's going on. It's very weird. I don't get it. And if you're gonna say something like, "Oh, my surgery is tomorrow," tell me what freaking surgery it is. Or I'm so upset that this guy died. Could you please tell us how he died? Because. I might not be close enough to know, but I'm close enough to kill. Yeah. That happens a lot. In fact, that happened. More information's better than that. A few, yeah. uh, six, seven months ago, all of a sudden, my Facebook thing blew up one weekend with people talking about this guy that we all went to high school with that had died. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's terrible. I wonder how he died. And I couldn't really ask him because we're not that close, you know? Like, I knew him, but we weren't, like, yeah. besties. And, um... Uh, I was like, I don't know, but the way people were saying it, it was yeah. a little weird. It sounded like it wasn't just that he died. Yeah. And it sounded like maybe it was suicide, but I wasn't really sure. Maybe it was a car accident. Like yeah. it was mm -hmm. it was tragic, whatever it was. I ended up Googling and finding out that he killed his mother and then took his own life. I guess that's why people probably weren't talking about yeah, it. But you need to be like Lincoln article. Like don't just you just want more information. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you know what else? What? I had a friend from high school that died not too long after high school, like mm -hmm. maybe eight years. She died from cancer, and nobody has taken down her Facebook page, and it keeps like every yeah. year. It's like friend so -so is having a, a birthday, and sometimes I still see people say, "Oh, I hope you're having a great birthday," and I'm like, "Oh." No. She died like ten years ago. That's why they have like the like you can go mm. onto other people's Facebooks and say like they died. Like, Can you down. please do that, please? 
Yes. I think I listed you as someone who can take care of my account. Oh, okay. Just so you know. You should try to figure that out if that ever happens. Okay. Oh, don't, that don't, never don't do that. Don't happens. do that. Okay. Anyways, that's so all of the that's somewhat stitchy related. Yeah, was, I guess it's not really yeah, stitchy really related, but it's kind of stitchy. It's still good, sure. thanks. Okay, you have two stories. I have two stories. Because you have the Jeep thing, and then yeah. you have something you haven't told me. Mm-hmm. And I better not have anything with your fingernails, because that is freaking me. <laughs> She's fingernails me will nails. not come off, because for the first time ever, I got acrylics, mm. and then I went back to get them redone, but they actually had to take them all off to put them on mm. because of the things that I wanted. So they ripped off my nails, which you know takes off the top two layers. <laughs> And then they put new nails on. But he did such a good job that now when I rip these off, it's ripping off like another two or three layers of nails. So I have like no nail left under. Shh. Oh, little puppy. Go to sleep. But also they're not peeling up. Usually when you like push on it, it peels it up over here. And it's not doing that. So it's really hard to get them off. I got three. Jacob pulled two off yesterday with floss. We're done. Oh. You good? I would rather vacuum up a cockroach than watch you or listen to you trying to get your nails off. You should have watched Jacob do it yesterday. You want me to film no. it? I'll put it in the no. next floss tube unexpectedly. No. You'll just like watch no. it like in the horror no. watch way. No. Okay. Anyways. No. We were at his cabin. We were at his parents' cabin this last weekend. And I'll do the jeeping thing first. We went jeeping. His dad has a jeep. So his family went in that jeep. We, Jacob and I, went in our jeep. Um, and you may recall, if you've watched all of our videos, from like our third or fourth episode, I want to say, I'm going to go back and look and take a clip. Uh, we went on um, a trail, I think it's called Gold Rush, maybe, Big Bear, and um, it was scary. <laughs> You're good. Go that way a little bit more. Slow, 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 slow. You're, You're almost off the passenger. There you go. There you go. Now. Whee! So we did that again, okay? But we did it in the snow. So that obviously couldn't be a recipe for disaster. No. 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 So this is what happened. Oh, yeah. Hit the rock. Hit the rock. Come on. Hit the more speed. Snow. Hit the rock. Hit the rock. <laughs> hit the snow. Hit the snow. <laughs> and now we have uh, the Jeep's fine, we're fine, but the uh, we notice that the alignment is now off, so the steering wheel has to be like that to go straight. I do have a question about that sure. video. Why was mm. why was he saying you need to go faster, and then why was he like aiming for the lock? Because this was a really tall hill, you couldn't really see, it was a pretty big hill, okay? And the entire thing was ice. I gathered that. The entire thing was ice. So the strategy, because two people had gone down before us, there was a, n another little Jeep caravan ahead of us, and actually one of them was towing a trailer, an mm. off-road two-wheel trailer. So they had gone down before us, and Jacob and Ralph had gone down there to talk to them to see what they did. And they said, you know, your strategy is to basically hit as much stuff as you can on the way down to slow you down. So that way you're not going so fast because the hill goes down and then turns, like does a U-turn. So there's like a big rock wall right there. You don't want to ram into that rock wall. So that's why in that video, Jacob is saying, okay, we're aiming for the rock, aiming for the rock, and then we miss the rock. He's like, okay, aiming for the snow, aiming for the snow, aiming for the rock, aiming for the snow. Because you're trying to hit something so that way your wheels slow down and we we missed everything yeah and we <laughs> slammed the thing and skid it sideways yeah. and i was like mm -mm. and the rest of it too when we had to back up to get so that way ralph could go down too i mean the whole time we were backing up we were sliding sideways too like it was all ice and the the jeep people with the trailer said that they had i was listening to the women talk about it they were talking about how they went down like a v <laughs> they went they went down jackknife the whole way <laughs> So it was a difficult, but actually Ralph got lucky. I didn't show you the video, but when he went down, he was going faster than even us, but then his wheel hit the, the snow, and so he kind of fishtailed into the snow a little bit, and then was able to basically drive mm -hmm. down the snow, and then just skidded a little bit, but he skidded in such a way that it looked like he just went around the curve perfectly. His wheels weren't turning, so it was all 
uncontrolled skidding, but he like went perfectly around the curve, didn't hit the wall or anything. I would have gotten out and walked. Yeah, I didn't get out during that's any my, of our time that's here. My technique. We skidded down around multiple corners. We did multiple obstacles, and I stayed in the Jeep the entire time this time because it was cold outside. It was warmer in the Jeep. I guess that's where my safety lies. So that's the Jeep story. Um, and then on the way, this is what you don't know, on the way um, down the mountain, it's very curved. Curvaceous. Curvaceous. And there's like 10 more curves before you get to the very bottom where it's like a straightaway. And there are two people in front of us. They're driving a decent speed, but like we couldn't go faster if we wanted to. But we're not going fast enough that they pull over. Like it's just a decent, comfortable. There's three of us in a row. And then there's this blonde lady behind us in a red Audi. It's like a sports car. Off roading in an Audi? No, 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 no. Oh, this is oh, leaving oh. the cabin. Oh, leaving oh, the cabin. I'm sorry. Leaving I'm, the cabin. I don't think you were on nope, the No, nope. Leaving I'm the sorry, cabin. I must have been distracted. Main so, road. It's okay. Right. Main main road curving down. Okay, main road. Main road. Down. Okay, I'm main thinking road. main dirt road. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Le when we're leaving the cabin to come Got back it. home. Got it. So she's behind us in a red Audi sports car. Okay. Jado keeps saying, she is tailgating us. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. He's like, no, like, she is tailgating close. I'm like, okay. I'm like looking in the side rear view mirror, and yeah, I can see that she's close, but you know, I'm just looking through the side mirror. Objects are closer than they may appear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and in the blind spot mirror, it's actually kind of opposite. Everything looks kind of further, but whatever. It, I was looking in the blind spot mirror. It doesn't matter. It, it, I could see her, yeah. But I didn't want to like turn around to make it obvious we were talking about her, right? Because at this point, she was, she, Jacob just kept saying, she's following so close, like so close. I, she's following so close. I'm like, okay, he's like, flash their taillights at her because our taillights are wired separately. So that way we can use them for various purposes. But they're so, also wired to the brake. But they're right? also wired okay. to the reverse. Yeah, but they but they are also wired independently. So I flash, and they're really bright. So I flash them at her three times and then turned it off. She like puts her hands up. And she's like driving super close again. And the reason we don't pull over is because there's those two cars in front of us that are going our speed. They're not gonna pull over. Like, it, yeah. we're all going a decent speed. Like, calm down. Um, and so, and so Jacob's like, Alyssa, you don't understand. You need to turn around. She is so close. I can't see her windshield. Like when we're going straight, <laughs> he, he can't see her windshield. He only sees the top of her car. Wow. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. And when I go around corners, like the U-turn corners, I can see her in the rear view mirror the entire time, which you shouldn't be able to do no. when you're doing a U-turn no. corner. No. I'm like, what? So I turn around. You cannot see her windshield. It is roof. It is just Roof. I'm like, how is it possible that she's that close to us? It was insane. And you know, we have to decelerate sometimes for the curves and stuff. And it's like she would slam on her brakes, way back up, and then zoom right up again until the next break and do the same thing. We're like, this is crazy. So at this point, Jacob was entertained, so he was not going to pull over. No, well, this is when you pull over no. one of the turnouts so that she doesn't hit you. No, no, Jacob was entertained, and he knew okay, if I take it back, <laughs> I can drive. I'm not a scary driver. He, he knew that it, if she hit us, like, the Jeep wouldn't get any damage. It would just be her. So he's like, we're going to keep going. And he wasn't being rude. He was driving more than the speed limit, but it's just the cars were in front of us, so we weren't going to pull over because pulling over wouldn't do anything for her. So we get to the last curve. This is when he enacted his revenge a little bit. Oh, no. He slowed down to 25 miles per hour, put, 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 put around the last U-turn curve before the straightaway, and then he gunned it. He went like 75. This is the fastest the Jeep has ever gone. I don't approve of this message. <laughs> this is the fastest the Jeep has ever gone. Going 75, and she whips around us pa across the double yellow and whips up to the people in front. And this is the first time I really get to see how close she stays the entire time, because I didn't want to be... Yeah, looking because it feels rude. It feels rude. So now I get to see it. She is within four feet of the people's bumper the entire drive. And then they just break a little bit and she backs up and then zooms right back up four feet away from the bumper. And I'm like, four feet this seems is like crazy. A lot. <laughs> it's 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 not. <laughs> and we're going, you know, 60, 70 on this straightaway that has still some curves in it. So like you gotta be careful, like you gotta slow down, but this is the road notoriously people go fast on because a lot of it's straight. And you're off the mountain, basically. So anyways, she gets up behind these people. It's not very long before the people are like, what is this lady doing? And pull over. So she zooms off and we're like, 
Well, I guess that's the end of that. We'll never see what happens. Damn. 15 seconds later, <laughs> we go around this corner and there is dust everywhere. That's and we're like, sign. we're like, it, it's her. It has to be her. So we slow down a little bit. You know, Jay was a firefighter. If something happened, he would get out and help her. But she was fine. She had veered onto the wrong side of the road and into this dirt ditch? lot. It wasn't oh. a ditch. It was a lot. Um, but she had obviously lost control because she was going so fast around the corner. She must have spun. There were skid marks. She must have spun and then landed in this dirt. And she just landed there, right? So we drive by and we're like... Like, it's, it's the karma thing. You know, like, you see jerks on the road and you're like, I hope the cops get you. I hope you kind of, like, fall off the road a little bit. I don't want you to hurt anyone else and I don't want you to get hurt, but, like, I kind of hope karma gets you. Karma got her, okay? And when we drove by, we could see the whole front, one of the front edges was all crushed in. Jacob oh. thinks she probably was going so fast when she hit the dirt that in her car so low oh, that it clunked, clunked down and then yeah. crunched it all but up. how do you know she was okay? Oh. So she so she didn't actually hit anything, but the things crunched, and Jacob thinks that she probably didn't even know there was damage. She probably didn't get out of the car. The reason we say that is because not five minutes later, she is behind us again. She is behind the car behind us, and she is on the guy's butt, doing the exactly same thing again, and we're like, Lesson if, not learned. if you crash and don't learn your lesson, like, what's going to make you learn your lesson, right? And we're like... What is wrong with this lady? So the car in front of her turns, and now she's behind us, but she stays far back. Like, far back, and we're like, she must recognize us as the Jeep that flashed our high beams at her, and she doesn't, like, she's probably maybe a little embarrassed or something, right? We're like, interesting, interesting. So she stays back until we hit the first stoplight, and then she's so close I can't see in her windshield. <laughs> so then she goes again, and, and Jacob's like, we should, we should make sure that she knows that we know who she is. And so he rolls down his window and I turn around and we both clap at her and wave. And she's like, she flashes her high beams at us, gives us the thumb up and we're like... And then she doesn't speed anymore. She doesn't speed. She stops tailgating. We both got on the freeway going the same direction. She didn't pass us. She stayed in the slow lane. Well, the lane next to the slow lane. She was fine after that. After we like made eye contact with her and was like, don't you do that? She stopped. The crash didn't teach her, but <laughs> teenage <laughs> shaming apparently worked. You're so. not teenagers. <laughs> yeah, well, don't take away my youth. So that's my story. And you're sticking to it? Yep. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but I do like it when karma gets you back. I will admit that I have said before when Idiots uh, doing donuts coming down a cabin. Yes. There's a, like an open spot kind of right outside of a cabin. Like they tend to plow. There's two turnouts and the two way road. Yeah. So there's like open space. So they like to do donuts at like two in the morning. And I, I have said once or twice that I wish they'd hit a tree, but I don't want them to to die. I don't want the color to be injured. I definitely don't want the tree to be injured. <laughs> but maybe if you they just, just... Want them to like learn their lesson. Yeah. Just like learn it. Like just a little. Just just nick the tree. Mm-hmm. Or fall off the mountain a little bit. Just a just little, a little bit. I don't want people to get hurt, but I just yeah. want them to have that oh, oh maybe I shouldn't do this. Well, that's why moment. I shouldn't drift up and down the road at two in the morning when people are trying to sleep. They literally drift. Right. Like Tokyo Drift, that movie, mm -hmm. like that. They drift. And, and I then would, they do donuts. I would just like to point out that I would not have clapped at her and waved at her had she not have been a jerk again after her crash. A crash is good enough. Like, you have gotten the karma you deserve, but then she was a jerk after that. So I felt justified in being a little mean, I guess. Mm -hmm, maybe. Maybe. You might be late. I might not be. But maybe. Yeah. But you have to go watch a debate. I know I did. You, but I gotta it's 5.30, so. And you gotta watch a debate. And I gotta go. Yeah, I've gotta figure out. I think we're having salad. <laughs> I'm not. I'm mm. the one I'm having, but not salad. That's it. Thank you for sticking with us through all the non-stitchy stuff, too. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it. We do. We really like all of you. That's, that's pretty true. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That's it. That's it. Okay. Goodbye, guys. We'll see you next week.